Dexter Season 3 Thoughts. So this time we have not only one, but two Dexter surrogates. The Skinner, the tree guy, and Miguel. For a long time it seemed like Miguel was going to be pretty much the stand-in for the audience, or at least that part of the audience, that part of every member of the audience that does want to do what Dexter is doing. But then they have him turn out to be a monster as well. I kind of do think that they wasted an opportunity here with how Dexter, I think it might be in the very first episode of the season, kills someone he wasn't looking to kill. You know, he's there for Freebo, but he kills the undercover guy. And then it just kind of... I barely even remember. It's been a couple of weeks since I watched that first, but... Didn't he just, like, discover, oh, well, the guy did do something, you know, and then he just doesn't feel bad anymore. I mean, at first, it's this clever kind of, this is what happens when you don't follow the rules thing, you know, that's why his father had made those rules, and now he's trying to be independent, and he messes up. And when Dexter messes up, someone dies, you know, at least some of the time. So, yeah, that just kind of doesn't really go anywhere. I don't know how they would really absolve him of the guilt of killing someone who shouldn't have been killed, someone who didn't, you know, do anything at all, but, you know. The discussion of the ethics of that is for another video, but I don't know. I just do think that it would have been more interesting if that had been... if they had done more with that. Anyway, there are many things, so let's try to get to all of them. Rita's pregnant. Anne wants to get married, so now we have the whole will the child be, you know, a mini Dexter, you know, will it, you know, torch the nursery home or something, it, you know, will it come home with blood on its hands one day. And just in general, will Dexter be able to be a father, will he be able to re raise someone from infancy, you know, I mean, he hasn't known Astra and Cody for that long, so, you know, and the marriage, you know, will he be able to be a husband, will, you know, how will he keep up his darkness, how will he keep indulging in that without, you know, her finding out when they are living together and all the time, yeah. So, the... I gotta say about Miguel, I was pretty impressed with Jimmy Smith, who's apparently, you know, graduated to becoming more than an L.A. lawyer and moved to Miami. He did quite well, and, you know, they're near the very end of the season where he's you know, threatening Dexter, it comes off pretty genuine. You feel kind of scared, you know. The... I think they did a pretty good job of balancing the, you know, the fact that there are now two Dexter surrogates. We didn't get to know the Skinner that much, but we did get to know Miguel Prado pretty well. So, it doesn't feel like they're trying to cram too much in there, you know, it's not Spider-Man 3. The... The basic character of Miguel and all the impact, you know, the fact that his... You know, his wife is also there and part of it, you know, and they want to be a big part of Dexter and Rita's life and the whole... You know, that worked pretty well, and I also like that they did have Miguel discover 
what Dexter was doing from very, very early on, and he does accept it from very early on. You know, with Lila, it's kind of, you know, you don't know if she'll accept it once she sees it, and then when she does see it, we realize she's, you know, completely out of control, and, you know, the one other case was the ice truck killer, so yeah. I I thought it was okay with the whole Joey Quinn and you know the X there where you know you're kind of wondering is there something to him that we're not seeing and yeah then it doesn't quite Deborah has yet another relationship and Again, it's a bit slightly ill-fated, at least. It could cost her her job, and, you know, I wonder if they're going to do that every season also, you know, have her get with someone and it's, you know, risky for her and her surroundings somehow. I like that they turned Mazuka into a more likable character, if only for a very brief portion of the season. I thought it was okay what they did with Rita, having her be, you know, pregnant. And the... You know, the couple of promotions, you know, Batista got promoted. That's how he talks. And, you know, his whole thing with the vice detective worked pretty well. You know, everyone knew that that other chick was sent by her, you know. When she said, oh no, no, there was totally no crime here, but could you give me a ride? Yeah, no. And, you know, Deborah gets her shield. I like the test by La Guerta, you know, with, okay, you chose, you know, your personal life, that means, you know, you will not be completely destroyed by this, so welcome aboard. And her relationship with the CI, you know, it works, you know, like she said, you know, you're the yin to my yang, you know, we, you calm me down, and I need that, you know, so, and that might be more or less what there is. I quite liked the season finale with Dexter in the opposite, you know, familiar situation, different perspective. That was very good, you know, and he sort of talks, psychs the Skinner out of it, you know, and breaks the hand, gets up, uses some of that, you know, martial arts training that we know he's got. I'd like him to use it more, but anyway, and, you know, the setup for the following season is right there. No, wait, Skinner wasn't killed by a car driving into him. He had his neck twisted, and it looks like it was, you know, by force. Well, okay, maybe I won't describe that, but there is the blood on the dress, you know. And, yeah, you know, wait, you said you fell down some stairs. How did you get stabbed? You know, that whole... Or was it the Skinner's blood? Anyway. Either way, incriminating. And, yeah. And, you know, how will the marriage go? The... Him getting, you know, abducted for the bachelor party. I really thought that was the Skinner. I think pretty much everyone did. 
I mean, at, at that point you had almost forgotten that there was going to be a bachelor party and you had just seen, you know, him getting sent out after... I quite like the reveal also of the other guy, the supposedly violent brother, you know. No, no, the violent stuff, that's me cleaning up for, you know, that's me taking the blame for Miguel's screw-ups because, you know, he wasn't exactly that good at it, you know, Dexter was far more, you know, he knew how to channel it, but, you know, these, Miguel was just, and, you know, I like the self-awareness of the show admitting that, yeah, these other characters are basically all what Dexter would be if he didn't have the code, you know, Harry's code. And with that, I also like that he is trying to, you know, grow up to assert his independence. You know, that was pretty good. So yeah, I think that is everything for the season. Yes, those were my thoughts on Dexter Season 3. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.